It's time now for our Vader Channel Love Cup. This is late to that April 19, 2016. Good evening, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins. I am laying out at 11 o'clock. News and I'm top straight at 11 o'clock on this late to that. It's In New York, where Donald Trump is a protector winner of the New York Republican primary, and Hillary Clinton is a protector winner of the Democratic primary, according to exit polls and early returns. As we look at the latest New York primary results. On the Republican side, Donald Trump, your winner with 60.0% of the votes. John Cates is with 25.2% of the votes, and Ted Cruz with 40.8% of the votes in the New York primary results. In the Democrat race, Hillary Clinton with 57.4% of the votes, while Bernie Sanders had 42.6% of the votes. In other news... Former New York police officer Peter Lang will not serve time behind bars or killed an innocent unarmed black man in 2014 in the case that drew passionate uh, allegations of racial injustice from both Amer African American and Asian American protesters. Utah officials deemed support a public health crisis. Ben Corn and Jerry Greenville were participating in democracy, awakening protests outside the U.S. Capitol, which aimed to call attention to the role of money in politics. Intel cut. 12,000 jobs as PC demand slumps. An explosion rocked the t Afghan capital to Kabul on Tuesday morning. The apparent work of Taliban militants struggling in the security team that protects government via phase out. Police officer to CNN. Havana, Cuban revolutionary leader Fidel Castro delivered a revelatory speech on Tuesday to the Communist Party that he put in the power a half a century ago, telling party members he is during the end of his life and exhorting them to help his ideas survive. At least 44 people have been killed in the dozens of the and Syrian government had their strikes in the markets in two rebel oil towns. In the other departments, Ellen Tibbet said, New Delhi, India will make a uh, possible efforts to get back to the Koei. No diamond from Britain, despite comments by New Delhi Solicitor General that the price of jewels should stay with the former colonial rule, the government said on Tuesday. Our federal appeals court in Richmond has ruled that a transgender high school student was born as a female can sue a school board for discrimination grounds because it banned him from. The boys' bathroom. Hundreds of acres of metals burned this afternoon in firefighters. From two counties face terrible conditions, high winds and drought. Brushes to Cockles, New Jersey Mayor Michael Canelli, a volunteer firefighter himself, said. A school district in such a car announced Monday that it is up to the firefighter for its armed security patrol division, reunited in a debate about what some say is over militarization of school security personnel. During a press conference on Tuesday morning, Brendan DeBevers called a late white 45 year old Terry Bevers, a godly woman who has very passionate about changing people's lives with fitness and changing their mental attitudes toward the bodies. Look at that local news. Brush fire in the Annabelle area continued for a second day Tuesday as drive wouldn't do where remain. A small brush fire was reported at about 5 p.m. off Landry to Avenue in North Annabelle. The homes of buildings were threatened and fire officials said. There was a brush fire reported in the front of a home off Bear Street in order about three hours later. U.S. Representative Joseph Kennedy III spoke at the White House Tuesday about improving access to the justice system for the poor. Franklin, a Franklin company overbuilt the state by more than half a million dollars an hour, is working to pay the funds. Unemployment continues on the region, and there are signs that wages are finally set to tick up. Number eight, Edinburgh area residents seem to have plenty of strong opinions about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Mansfield, I promise. mental marijuana dispensary has yet to inspire in that corner. Calls are letters on the subject, town official said. Foxborough, the Edison Mountain Sports Store at Patriot Place in Foxborough will be closed after its owner filed for bankruptcy protection. So I wonder what will go into that former store. Lots of choices. In state news. Boston, Elizabeth Warren is mocking her U.S. Senate colleague Ted Cruz for an email that lists some. And the sacrifices group has made on the camp patrol from time away from his family to sleep deprivation. The message to the Democrat fired off a series of tweets on Tuesday and that a Republican president hopeful from Texas. In one, Warren said, Boston, Bill Clinton's wife has completed the position of Massachusetts defamation lawsuit filed by several women who contend the community and Brendan and as liars after they went publicly with sexual assault allegations against them. San Francisco, y'all strove for the past two decades to build one of the most visited sites in the country and a robust online display advertising business. Shoppers may soon get the 
Back a few extra seconds at checkout and response to the complaints about the waiting period that caused by new chip enabled credit card and debit cards. Visa and Corbin on Tuesday said that the new software will shave as many as 18 seconds. The crash had forced the prevailment against the U.S. Golden 3 at Turkey than a president shakeout. Break and bank websites that had entered today's biggest players such as last week's collapse of the people in energy and veteran jobs in Appalachia. Tokyo shares surged more than 3% on Tuesday morning joining the global equities rally as a weaker yet left exporters and allowed investors to trick off the disappointment of the failed talks to cut oil output. Take a look at stock market report at a level 5. Now, up 4 down from 44 points, at 8 to 9, 53 points, 60, at 3 power down, 6 point, 46 points, at 21 and 80, and that's a kind of 90 points, 60 down points, at 4,940.33. If you're like most people in North America, you'll probably spend most of your time indoors. Leave home in the morning, drive to work, stay in your cube all day. Head home again. The Gale Archers have Franklin Razor, late stage skate embryo, sit below the eyes of the beaver side of the head. What killed the dinosaurs? That's a question that scientists are still trying to answer, then the case isn't going to be closed anytime soon. According to an international group of scientists studying the volcanic air in China and North Korea, the volcanic can possibly erupt in the coming time, and a seismologist have observed a few signs of heightened activity. It's like transplant has been found to prevent hypoglycemic events, and medical research to believe that also provides increased glycemic control for patients that have type 1 diabetes with severe hypoglycemia. The American Academy of Neurology on Monday published new physician guidelines on use of botulinum toxin to manage a number of neurological conditions. The patient found from Dr. Ranesh Sinha's clinic in Redwood City, California, was the like nobody had ever seen as Dr. Drain and Sinha studied which patients were used to diagnose a type 2 diabetes. They were at least middle age 8 2. Lonely and isolated people may face a high risk of heart disease and stroke research. People reported that social isolation rates at risk about 30%. Third in the same level of influence on heart and health as risk factors. Take a look at New England and its alerts at 11.07 p.m. In Springfield, Massachusetts, a water main brick at the intersection of Main and Lyman Streets are closed to the mall main brick. Crews are just grabbed in the sink, which it did. Peter Tell News on 11.07 p.m. on this late. To that, and it's time now for a travel report. Let's study up down in Rhode Island, where it's looking good on the highways and my ways, but I'll accept the 139 in East Pines out of Lowell, so in the James Line just before the Newport Bridge in the East Pines out of Route 138. So, Feats of Massachusetts and Cape Cod are ways. They are looking good. Alton, one way is up on the grass and just around Great Plain Avenue. You need them, so expect some delays. Mass Pocket East Pines are also from the South East Expressway all the way at the Logan Airport. 495 in the North Pines are also on Route 3 to Tewksbury. 95 in the North Pines are also on the Newberry Stretch. 95 in the South Pines are also on the Amesbury Stretch. 95 in the South Pines are also on the Hampton Tolls, but Otherwise, Eastern Massachusetts highways are looking good except for the mass parking range change before 95, a little slow. But highways and byways in Massachusetts are looking good, and the Berkshire 3 and the New York State 3 and on Route 90, it's a little slow before the Massachusetts border. And 295 and the North Mountain are a little slow around Route 95 around the main trip out of Augusta. But Vermont and Rapture Main highways are looking good. I-87 and the North Mountain are a little slow just before Route 9 and Plattsburgh. I-89 and East Mountain are a little slow before I the New York State Thru in Schenectady, New York State Thruway is looking good from New York Call We Dunn. The Pennsylvania border. I-90 on the eastbound, westbound side, will also run I-86 in just southeast of Erie, Pennsylvania. Meaning you're down in Connecticut, I-84 on the westbound side, will also in the Farmington stretch. I-84 in the eastbound side, will also in the Middlebury stretch. 95 on both ends, will also on the Old Line stretch. 95 on the southbound side, will also the Bridgeport stretch just before Route 8. 95 in the North Pantside, Lulso from West Haven to New Haven, Connecticut. And Merritt Park, Maine East Pantside, Lulso from Stanford all the way to New Canaan and the Brisk Canaan after Route 57 in Westport. 95 in the North Pantside, Lulso at Route 7 in Norwalk, Connecticut. Down in New York City. 95 in the North Pantside, Lulso to the Bucks River Bridge, 279. The both ends, Lulso around I 87. 
Lana Expressway to West Bend Town. A little slow before the Midtown Tunnel. FDR Drive it slow on Lana Expressway. F Brooklyn Queens Expressway on the West Bend Town. A little slow on the Brooklyn Bridge all the way at the Bay Ridge. Due to the couple of accidents on 278 between Park Slope and Bay Ridge. 95 minutes at Bantad, a little slow from I 8 to 98 to George Washington Bridge. 95 minutes at Bantad, so from Fort Lee, all the way out to I 80. New Jersey Turnpike on the North Bantad, so from Woodbridge Center, all the way out to Bayonne, then hit back again from Newark, all the way out to Fort Lee. Lincoln Tunnel on the West Bantad, and it's closed. East Bantad is looking good. I 79, both fans, a little slow on Holland Tunnel. 278 on the West Bantad, a little slow around the Santa Ana stretch. Down in New Jersey, New Jersey Turbine is going from New York all the way after the Delaware Board, except that New Jersey Turbine is going to step on a little so before the Delaware Bridge. And Garden State Park is going from New York all the way at the Wildwood. Uh. And down in Pennsylvania, I 70 on the East Bend side. It's a little slow on the Allentown stretch. I 81 on the North. North step on set. an accident just after the Pennsylvania Turbine in Colorado, so expect some delays. Highways and byways at Pennsylvania are looking good as the Pennsylvania Turbine is moving from Philly to Pittsburgh. Down in Maryland, D.C., 95 is looking good from Wilmington, Delaware, all the way out to Washington, D.C. via Baltimore. And I-695 on the east north bound side of Lulzwan, Route 702 in Essex, Maryland, 95 on the south bound side of Lulzwan, Harbor Tunnel in Baltimore, 95 on the south bound side of Lulzwan, and the Pentacle River in the Harbor Tunnel in Baltimore. And down in D.C., 495, Capital Beltway and the North Bantad Lulz from 395 to Route 66 in Virginia. 395 to the North Bantad Lulz after 95 on the Capital Beltway in Alexandria, Virginia. And we got an accident on 395 on the North Bantad. Mm. Okay, and We get an accident on 395 North Bound Side in the Southwest Washington section. 395 in the North Bound Side, a little over the Capitol of Rats, Route 50. Okay, we got MBTA alerts. Oh, so Subway system is looking good on the Committee Rail. Due to ongoing security track work today, which the line trains may be at in some ways. Train specific alerts may be sent as needed. Correction, please board 831, 11 59 p.m. from substation on the inbound platform at Adelburn substation at South Adelburn station today. And on the ferry day, I'm looking good. Peter Chillin' is on now, 11.13 p.m. on the slate. Tuesday night, and it's time now for a weather report. Okay, take a look at uh, radar. And it shows some spotty rain shots off the sea coast of New Hampshire and off the main, summer main coast. And seeing some spotty rain shots around the Sanford Main area. Alright. And we got a fire weather watch. Rain's effect from Wednesday afternoon about Wednesday evening from continue to dry conditions and gusty winds affect the area of southern New England. Winds are up about 5 to 15 miles because up to 25 miles an hour. So I can say these winds will be across the eastern Massachusetts and right now. Time of Wednesday afternoon and early evening. Well, to get rid of the 15-25% about a higher along the immediate coast. Impact dry weather and gusty winds will result in critical fire weather conditions. That's a fire weather walk means that critical fire weather conditions are forecast to occur. Listen for later forecast of possible red flag warnings. Any fire that start may be spread rapidly and become difficult to extinguish. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this. Tonight, most coast guard will all around. 36 degrees, cover will become a northwest one fire at 7 miles after midnight. Wednesday, let's get up at 59 degrees, north about 7 miles after 
Let's go side 24 miles an hour. What's that? Most coasts cover 36 degrees. Let's stop. Wind Thursday, South Carolina, at 73 degrees. And Gulf Coast covered southwest from 5 to 7 miles an hour in the afternoon. Thursday, a slight chance of 20. And most coasts cover about 50 degrees and southwest about 6 miles an hour. Chance beach is 20%. Friday, chance of showers, but thunderstorms are supposed to be to 4 p.m. Most coasts cover about uh, I guess 73 degrees and chance beach is 4%. Friday night, chance of showers and thunderstorms before 9. PM that are chest shots between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. Some of those produce every rain. Most class got about 50 degrees and chest pitch to 3%. Saturday, most class got about 63 degrees and Saturday night, plus 2 pounds up to 4 a.m. About the park class got about 36 degrees. Sunday, pitch mass before 7 a.m. Most of the city, the park class got about 39 to about 35 degrees. Monday, pitch mass up to 4 a.m. Most class got about 53 degrees. Monday night, chest shots. Most class got about 35 degrees and chest pitch to 30%. And for Tuesday, chest shots. Most class got about 53 degrees and chest pitch to 30%. Great! Not in here. 36 and fog mist with humidity of 8 and a half and 2 above Celsius. And that's me, the Peter Channel. A load of cotton is late. Tuesday, April 19th, 2016. I'm here to say goodnight. See you tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow morning. Goodnight.